more studios checking in and you know we in the studio manifesting our own reality your fear is stagnating you you're not lazy you're not depressed you're not doing anything because you're fearful you live in your fear but you're not using this energy to push you further to where you want to be see we have we all have fear and we all get nervous but it's how you react to these motions that separates you from the rest of the crowd. Just because you see an NBA player that's clutch when the pressure is on, that doesn't mean they were never nervous once before. That doesn't mean they were naturally born with that talent. See, we could hone our talents by learning how to react to how we feel. We, act, we react without thinking instead of reacting with a conscious effort to push us forward in the right direction. Someone gets you mad, you instantly want to fight them. Someone canceled on you, now you're mad. We have to be the master of our emotions in order to master our reality. Because once you master our emotions, nothing externally can affect you from within. People are weak because they let the outside world affect their inner reality and thus ultimately affecting their outside reality once you control the reality with inside yourself then there's nothing outside of you that can push you off center that can get you off guard i'm not saying that you're not never gonna be mad i'm not saying that you're never gonna be angry but you'll know how to maneuver when these emotions arise you'll know how to maneuver when you think someone thinks they got you, but you really got yourself. No one else got you but you. No one else has you but you. We have to learn how to transmute all these negative emotions into something greater than ourselves. We're more than our emotions. We're more than what we see. I, I would go so far to say fear can be a gift can be a gift it's not always a demon you learn how to handle your fears by facing them and usually what we fear that's where our treasure resides that's where our treasure lives so if we have a fear of public speaking you might be the best public speaker to ever live you're probably the best public speaker in your past life in the 1800s but you don't even know it. You don't know your family lineage. You don't know what your grandma practiced. You don't know any history other than what other people told you. And once people, once you listen to an external, once you listen to an external force, you will never know what's true. You will never know where your treasure is. You will never know where your treasure lies. And that's why so many people are lost in the world. They're living in fear and they're listening to everyone else but themselves and their intuition. Fear stagnates you because you don't know how to handle it. Fear stagnates you because you choose to be comfortable. It's not because you don't know how to do something. You can't even listen to anyone who gives you that excuse because we have the internet. This is such a social error that it's almost impossible for you to not know something. If you don't know something, that's because you don't really want to know it. That's your lack of effort, lack of discipline. It's some form of lack. And what it comes down to ultimately is that you're not hungry enough. We have to remain in a balanced state of hunger to actually achieve our goals. Because if we're not really hungry and we're just doing stuff because we're bored, then you'll easily get burnt out. You'll, it's easy for you to stop because you don't have a set intention behind the actions you're doing. Become clear, know your strengths and weaknesses, and then conquer them. Turn your weaknesses into strengths. And turn your strengths into money. Or turn your strengths into inspiration. Turn your strengths into tools. You're always constantly changing something. The only constant in the universe is change. 
So just because you're strong at something doesn't mean you can't transmute it into something else. Fear stagnates you because you don't know what to do with it. It's like having a lot of money and you're just spending it on material items, not using it to better yourself. You could use your fear to better yourself, but do you actually want to better yourself? Because a lot of us are content with where we are. And I don't want to hear any complaints if you're content because we all have the power and will to manifest our own reality. This reality has been forced upon us and formed to make us act, believe, say in a certain manner. And it's up to you if this has been beneficial to you or not. See, we are all living multiple, multiple realities all under one umbrella. You see how beautiful the weather is right now. There's someone outside right now depressed, crying, and don't see the beauty in the weather. We wake up and have a choice. Do we choose to live in fear or do we choose to conquer? Because you can't conquer out of fear. And if you conquer out of fear, you're a coward. We conquer to execute the inconsistencies and things that don't benefit us in our life. We don't conquer to harm, we conquer to fulfill. We conquer to better, we conquer to improve. So don't let fear stagnate you because usually what you fear, that's where your treasure is. More studios out and until next time, you guys be well.